Hi beauties, welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. Hi Coco. In today's video, we will be busting some skincare myth. Have you ever heard any skincare rumors that you weren't sure of? Maybe some of these rumors have made you hesitant to buy a product that you're interested in, or causing you to unknowingly have even more skin troubles. Well, today, let's find out whether some of these common skin methods are true or false. Skincare myth number one. Oil cleanser will make skin more oily. This is an easy misconception to have, as it can make sense to think that adding more oil to oil doubles oil. But have you ever heard of the term fighting like with like? That's right. Oil cleansers are able to remove the oil, sebum and other stubborn impurities from your deep pores. Their slippery and heavier consistency means that they can work deeper in the pores and remove more buildup. And another key point is really moisturizing. I'm pretty sure we have all heard by now that oily skin caused by the lack of moisture and how the skin produces more oil to make up for it. For the deep cleanse that doesn't strip the face of its natural oil, I highly recommend oil cleanser for all skin types. With that being said, there are so many lightweight oil cleansers on the market, such as Clear's Gentle Black Fresh Cleansing Oil or the Face Shop Rice Water Bright Light Cleansing Oil. Skin myth number two. You can just use normal face moisturizer as eye cream. I would say, no, no that's not right. Eye cream is eye cream. Moisturizer is moisturizer. Moisturizer focuses on moisturizing face or sometimes prevent the moisture loss. And eye cream focuses on the anti-aging. Eye cream contains higher concentrations of beneficial ingredients such as collagen, fermented ingredients, peptide in order to target anti-aging and brightening. As eye creams are more potent in their main ingredients, you will also notice that they have thicker consistency than just normal moisturizer. While this thicker consistency means it is more deeply moisturizing, it can also take a little longer to absorb. Here is a tip. Do not apply eye cream too close to the eyes. And around the eye socket is more ideal. As the skin around the eye area is quite delicate, so don't forget to apply eye cream by dabbing motion with a ring finger or pinky finger. And gently and lightly. For the teenagers or younger skin, you don't actually need an eye cream yet, but if you are over 20s, I would recommend you to apply eye cream every day. Skin myth number three. All alcohol is bad and dry. Alcohol has got a bad reputation in skincare for being dry and irritating and generally very harsh, especially for sensitive skins. However, did you know that there are good alcohol and bad alcohol for the skin? It's not commonly known that there are good alcohol derived from the vegetables. These natural fatty alcohols are able to do the opposite of bad alcohol. Instead of drying, they will actually help to lock in the moisture. Natural good alcohols are solid and they are good for preventing the separation of the oil and water in skincare products. For more information of this topic, make sure to check out our blog post on our website. Next time when you see the word alcohol from the ingredient list, hopefully it won't scare you away. Skincare myth number four. You don't have to wear sunscreen indoors. Mm. Well, to me, I always suggest our beauties to apply sunscreens whenever you are inside or outside. The sun may be essential, but it can also be skin's biggest enemy. Did you know that aside from the diet and lack of moisture, UV rays are one of the biggest root causes the skin trouble. Exposure to UV rays can create dark spots, cause uneven skin tones, faster aging, and increase the risk of the skin cancer. Even if you're indoors, the sun's rays can still reach you. That's true. And give you these negative effects to your skin if you are not protected. But is this really necessary for all the time? While this can be debated, we definitely recommend putting on sunscreen anytime, everywhere. But if you're in a place without any sunlight, I don't think you need a sunscreen. Skin myth number five. You don't really have to wash off sunscreen. Oh my god, 
How many people believe that you don't actually need to cleanse the sunscreen? Carrying on from the previous myth about sunscreen, there are some people that believe sunscreen is skincare and it doesn't need to be washed off end of the day. My answer is yes. Sunscreen is skincare and certainly not as heavy as makeup. However, sunscreen still contains the ingredients such as UV filter, emollients, preservatives that can clog your pores and breaks up when you leave the sunscreen on your face for a long time. It is also best to clean your face at the end of the day, regardless of having been inside or outside. And dust and other impurities still build up and adhere to the face throughout the day. So, how did you find out today's video? What are some of the skincare myths that you still believe to be true? And what are your other myths that you are unsure about? Let us know, comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties, let's be pretty!